Okay, Job 31 through 33, 33. That's interesting, 33, 33. Holy Father, teach us your decrees. Help us to filter everything out. Give us a deep revelation of knowledge. Pour your Holy Spirit over us, Father God. Thank you for pouring your holy blessings from the warehouse of heaven over us, Holy Father. Just engrave your word into our spirits like you did with the commandments on the stone tablets. In Jesus' holy name. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a girl. For what is man's lot from our holy God about his heritage from the Almighty on high? Is it not ruin for the wicked, disaster for those who do wrong? Does he not see my ways and count my every step? If I walked in falsehood or my foot was has hurried after deceit, let our holy God weigh me in the honest scales, and he will know that I am blameless. If my steps have turned from the path, if my heart has been led by my eyes, or if my hands have been defiled, then may others eat what I have sown, and may my crops be uprooted. If my heart has been enticed by a woman, if I have looked at my neighbor's, at my neighbor's door, then may my wife grind, an, grind another man's grain, and may other men sleep with her, for that would have been shameful a sin to be judged. It is a fire that burns in, burns to destruction. It would have uprooted my harvest. If I have denied justice to my men servants and maid servants when they had a grievance against me, what will I do when our holy God confronts me? What will I answer when called to account? Did not he who made me in the womb make them? Did not the same one from us both within our mothers form us within our mothers? If I have denied the desires of the poor or let the eyes of the widow grow weary, if I have kept my bread to myself, not sharing it with the fatherless, but from my youth I reared him as would a father, and from my birth I guided the widow, if I have seen anyone perishing for lack of clothing or, or a needy man without a garment and his heart did not bless me for warming him with the fleece from my sheep, if I have raised my hand against the fatherless, knowing that I had influence in court, then let my arm fall from the shoulder, let it be broken off at the joint. If I dreaded destruction from our holy God, and for fear of his splendor, I could not do such things. If I have put my trust in gold, or said to pure gold, you are my security. If I have rejoiced over my great wealth, the fortune of my hands had gained. If I have regarded the sun in its radiance, or the moon moving in the splendor, so that my heart was secretly enticed, and my hand offered them a kiss of homage, then these also would be sins to be judged. For I would have been unfaithful to my holy God on high. If I have rejoiced at my enemy's misfortune, or gloated over the trouble that came to him, I have not allowed my mouth to sin by invoking a curse against his life. If the, if the men of my household have never said, who has not had his fill of Job's meat? But no stranger had to spend the night in the street, for my door was always open to the traveler. If I have concealed my sin, as men do, by hiding my guilt in my heart, because I so feared the crowd and so dreaded the contempt of the clans, that I kept silent and would not go outside, oh, that I had someone to hear me, assign now, assign now my defense. I sign now my defense. Let the Almighty answer me. That my accuser put his indictment in writing, surely I would tear it on my I would wear it on my shoulder. I would put it on like a crown, I would give him an account of my every step. Like a prince I would approach him. If I if my land cries out against me and all its furrows are wet with tears. If I have devoured its yield without payment, or broken the spirit of its tenants, and let the briars come up instead of wheat and wheat and weeds instead of barley the words of job are ended so these men stopped answering job because he was righteous in his own eyes but elihu son of barakel the buzite of the family of ram became very angry with job for justifying himself rather than our holy god he was also angry with the three friends because they had found no way to refute job and yet had condemned him now elihu had waited for speaking to job because they were older than he, but when he saw that the three men had nothing more to say, his anger was aroused. So Elihu, son of Barakel, the Buzite, said, I am young in years, and you are old. This is why I was fearful, not daring to tell you what I know. I thought age should speak, advanced years should teach wisdom, but it is a spirit in a man that the breath of the Holy Almighty that gives him understanding. It is not only the old who are wise, 
not only the age to understand what is right. Therefore I say, listen to me, I too will tell you what I know. I waited while you spoke, I listened to your reasoning while you were searching for words. I gave you my full attention, but not one of you has proved Job wrong. None of you has answered his arguments. Do not say, we have found wisdom, let our holy God refute him, not man. But Job has not marshaled his words against me. And I will not answer him with your arguments. They are dismayed and have no have no more to say. Words have failed them. But must I wait now that they are silent, now that they stand there with no reply? I too will have my say. I too will tell what I know, for I am full of words, and the spirit within me compels me. Inside I am like bottled up wine, like new wineskins ready to burst. I must speak and find relief. I must open my lips and reply. I will show partiality to no one, nor will I flatter any men. For if I were killed, for if I were skilled in flattery my maker would soon take me away but now job listen to my words pay attention to everything i say i am about to open my mouth my words my words are on the tip of my tongue my words come from an upright heart my lips sincerely speak what i know the holy spirit of god has made me the breath of the holy almighty gives me life answer me when i Answer me then if you can. Prepare yourself and confront me. I am just like you before our holy God. I too have been taken from clay. No fear of me should alarm you, no, nor should my hand be heavy upon you. But you have said in my hearing, I heard the very words, I am pure and without sin. I am clean and free of guilt. Yet our holy God has found, found fault with me. He considers me his enemy. He fastens me my feet in shackles. He keeps close watch on all my paths. But I tell you, in this you are not right, for our holy God is greater than man. Why do you complain to him that he answers none of man's words? For our holy God does speak now one way, now another, though man may not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on men as they slumber in their beds, he may speak in their ears and terrify them with warnings to turn man from wrongdoing and keep him from pride, to preserve his soul from the pit, his life from perishing by the sword, or a man may be chastened on a bed of pain with constant distress in his bones so that his very being finds food repulsive and his soul loathes the choicest meat his flesh wastes away to nothing and his bones once hidden now stick out his soul draws near to the pit and his life to the messengers of death yet if there is a holy angel on his side as a mediator one out of a thousand to tell a man what is right for him to be gracious to him and say spare him from going down to the pit I have found a ransom for him. Then his flesh is renewed like a child's. It is restored as in the days of his youth. He prays to our holy God and finds favor with him. He sees our holy God's face and shouts for joy. He is restored by our holy God to his righteous state. Then he comes to men and says, I sinned and perverted what was right. I did not get I did not get what I deserved. He redeemed my soul from going down to the pit, and I will live to enjoy the light. Praise you, Holy Father. Our holy God does all these things to a man twice, even three times, to turn back his soul from the pit, that the light of life may shine on him. Pay attention, Job, and listen to me. Be silent, and I will speak. If you have anything to say, answer me. Speak up, for I want you to be cleared. But if not, listen to me. Be silent, and I will teach you wisdom. I don't know. In my opinion, he's kind of right, but I don't know why they are so... I don't know why they're arguing with him. He's suffering so much, right? I would just pray. Second Corinthians 3, 1 through 18. Are we beginning to commend ourselves or do we need like uh, or do we need like some people letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves are a letter written in our hearts, known and read by everybody. You show that you are a letter from our holy christ the result of our ministry written not with ink but with the holy spirit of the living holy god not on tablets of stone but on tablets of human hearts such confidence as this of uh, such confidence as this is ours through christ before our holy god not that we are confident in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves but our confidence comes from our holy god he has made us confident as ministers of a new covenant of the letter but of the not of the letter but of the holy spirit of Jesus, our Holy Savior, Messiah, for the letter kills, but the Holy Spirit of our Holy God gives life. Now, if the ministry that brought death, which was engraved in letters on stone, came with glory so that the Israelites could not look steadily at the face of Moses because of its glory fading though it was, will not the ministry of the Holy Spirit 
of our holy God be even more glorious. If the ministry that condemns men is glorious, how much more the glor glorious is a ministry that brings righteousness. For what was glorious has no glory now in comparison to the surpassing glory. And if what was fading away came with glory, how much better is the glory of that which lasts. Therefore, since we have such a hope, we are very bold. We are not like Moses, who would put on a veil over his face to keep the Israelites from gazing at him while the radiance was fading away. But their minds were made dull. For to this day the same veil remains when the old covenant is read. It has not been removed, because only in Christ is it, oh, is it taken away. Even to this day, when Moses is read, a veil covers their hearts. But whenever, whenever anyone to, turns to the Holy Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Holy Lord is the Holy Spirit. And where the Holy Spirit of the Holy Lord is, there is freedom. And we who unveiled faces all reflect the Holy Lord's glory are being transformed into the likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Holy Lord, who is the Holy Spirit. That's like A plus B plus C equals D. I'm a, I'm a math person. In Psalm 43, 1 through 5. Vindicate me, O holy God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Rescue me from deceitful and wicked men. You are our holy God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let, me, let them guide me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I will go to the altar of our holy God, to my holy God, the joy and my delight. My joy and my delight. I will praise you with the harp, O God, my holy God. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in, the whole, in my holy God, for I yet will praise him, my Savior and my holy God. Amen. Praise you, Holy Father. Praise you, Holy Father. Proverbs 22, 8 through 9. He who sows wickedness reaps trouble, and the rod of his fury will be destroyed. A generous man will himself be blessed, for he shares his food with the poor. Holy Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for another day of life. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. We bring our sins to the feet of Jesus, our Holy Savior, Messiah. Say, we say, forgive us for we know not what we do. Holy Father, as we forgive all who trespass against us, forgive us our trespasses. And we just... Praise you, God, for giving us deep revelation knowledge, Holy Father. We thank you for the sevenfold recompense. Vindicate us sevenfold and recompense us sevenfold for everybody that has stolen from us. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day.